Hello everyone, I am Adreja. Welcome again. In one of my previous videos, I discussed about tense, right? I discussed about detailed construction of all these 12 tenses. In this video, we are going to learn about the negative and the interrogative form of these 12 tenses. So if you haven't watched that video yet, please do watch that video and I have given the link of that video in the description box. So now without any delay, let's begin. So negative and interrogative. What is meant by negative? It means to disagree or disapprove something, okay? And interrogative means to question. So we already learned about the affirmative sentences of these 12 tenses but again we are going to write that and we are also going to learn about the negative and the interrogative form of these tenses. So um, as I discussed in the previous video, there are total three types of tenses, present tense, past tense and future tense. These three tenses are again divided into four tenses that is simple, continuous, perfect, con perfect continuous. So in total, there are 12 tenses. So first, the first tense is simple present tense so a uh, sentence of simple present tense is he goes to school so uh, it is an affirmative sentence right he goes to school this is the affirmative sentence now we have to form a negative sentence from this sentence so the negative sentence will be he does not go to school Okay, the affirmative sentence was he goes to school, he does not go to school. So in simple present tense, we can use do or does. We use do after I, you, they and we use does after he, she, it. So I do, you do, they do, he does, she does, it does. Okay, so now here he goes to school, so it is he. So what are we going to use? Does. He does. So this is a negative sentence, right? So we have to disagree. So it means not. He does not go. He does not. As we have already used yes one time. So now we are going to write only go. Only the first form of verb. No S or ES is needed. Okay. He does not go. Okay. To school will be same. So the negative form of this sentence is he does not go to school. If it was I, I do not go to school. Okay, now let's move to the interrogative one. Interrogative means to question. So what will be the interrogative sentence of this one? He goes to school. We have to question, right? So we have to use do or does again. So Again, the same thing before I, we, you, they, we use do and for he, she, it, we use does. So, does he go to school? The do or does, we have to write it at first, okay? Not he, she or it, we have to write do or does at first. So, first does, then he. So, does he go not goes we have to write go same as the negative one as we wrote does so we will only write go so here also we wrote does so we are not going to add e or es to the verb we have to only write go does he go then to school question mark so this is the interrogative sentence of simple present tense so let's see the sentences in affirmative it is he goes to school in a negative it is he does not go to school and in interrogative it is does he go to school okay now here comes another point that is we, ha we are writing does not so there are some short forms of these it is doesn't same with do not it is don't okay so does not you can write it as doesn't and do not you can even write it as don't so he doesn't go to school now let's move to simple past tense so first let's write down the affirmative sentence 
so it was he goes to school he went to school right so this is in simple past tense it is the affirmative form of simple past tense so now let's learn about the negative form in negative form we are always going to use did what did we use in present tense we used does or do right but in simple past tense we are going to use did after every after everything like he she it i you they we everything okay we have to use did so the formation will be same as this so he then did after did we have to write not because not always comes after the helping verb now go we are not going to write went because did is already in past tense so we are not going to mention another past tense so he did not as we have already wrote did so we are only going to write the first form of the verb that is go he did not go okay to school he did not go to school or we can also tell this as he didn't okay short form of did not is didn't he didn't go to school so this was the negative one now the interrogative so he went to school what are we going to use in interrogative did in simple past tense we have to use did so we have to write did first here as we interchange the position of he and does same we have to do over here we are going to interchange the position of he and did so at first we have to write did and then he okay did he go i already mentioned one time that if we are mentioning did one time then we are not going to mention another past tense okay we have to write the first form of the verb so did he go okay so these are the sentences in affirmative it is he went to school negative he did not go to school in interrogative did he go to school now let's move to the third one that is simple future tense so future what will be the affirmative sentence he will go to school right he will go to school so the negative form of simple future tense will be again we have to use not but where are we going to use it after the helping verb right so he will will is the helping verb so he will after that not he will not go to school it's simple so we have to only put a not between will and go he will not go to school okay now the interrogative form in the interrogative form as i said we have to interchange the first two words so he and will we will interchange it will he will he go to school okay so first will will he go to school so affirmative is he will go to school negative is he will not go to school and interrogative is will he go to school okay and now we can also write will not as won't okay the short form of will not is won't so he won't go to school okay so now we are going to move to the second one that is continuous tense so it is present continuous tense at first let's write a sentence in present continuous tense so it will be he is going to school right okay so he is going to school i am going to school you are going to school we are going to school she is going to school anything okay now let's write the negative form after is we have to write not so he is not going to school he is not going to school now let's move to the interrogative form so in interrogative form as i said we have to interchange the first two words so it is the first two word he is 
If we interchange it, is he? Is he going to school? So, the affirmative form is he is going to school, negative form is he is not going to school and interrogative form is is he going to school? Now, let's take a look at some short forms. If there is is, so is not, we are going to write it as isn't. Okay, we can. So, he isn't going to school. But what if there is are not? Okay, are not. So, aren't. We aren't going to school. You can write it as we are not going to school or we aren't going to school. Okay, so these are the short forms. So, this was present continuous tense. The next one is past continuous tense. So, the affirmative sentence of past continuous tense is he was going to school. Okay, in the negative form, we have to write not after the helping verb. So, the negative form will be he was not going to school. Okay, this is the negative form. So, in negative form, it is was not. So, the short form of was not is wasn't. And if it was were not, the short form of were not is weren't. And the short form of was not is wasn't. So, he wasn't going to school. You weren't going to school. Now, the interrogative form is we have to interchange the first two words. So, was he going to school? Was he going to school? So the affirmative form is he was going to school. Negative one is he was not going to school. And interrogative is was he going to school? Now the next one is future continuous tense. So the affirmative form of future continuous tense is he will be going to school. Right? So what will be the negative form? He will not be going to school. Now the interrogative form, same, we have to interchange the first two words. So will he be going to school? Okay, will he be going to the school? So the affirmative form is he will be going to school. Negative is he will not be going to school. And interrogative is will he be going to school? So this was future continuous tense. Now let's move to perfect tense. So first is present perfect tense. What is the affirmative sentence? He has gone to school. So what is gone? It is the third form of go, right? Third form of the verb go. So we have already learned about these first, second, third forms in the first video. So if you haven't watched that video yet, please don't forget to watch that video. So the affirmative form is he has gone to school. Now the negative form. So he has not gone to school. Okay, so this is the negative form. He has not gone to school. Now, the interrogative form will be, we have to interchange the first two, for the first two words. So, has he gone to school? Has he gone to school? Okay, has he gone to school? Affirmative sentence is, he has gone to school. Negative is, he has not gone to school and interrogative is has he gone to school now over here we have write we have wrote has not so we write have after i you we and they right and we write has after he she it so he has not gone to school if it was i i have not gone to school you have not gone to school they have not gone to school so what will be the short form of has not or have not? The short form of has not is hasn't and the short form of have not is haven't. So he hasn't gone to school. You haven't gone to school. Okay, so these are the short forms. 
So we have completed present perfect tense. Now we are going to move to past perfect tense. The affirmative form of past perfect is he had gone to school. He had gone to school. Now negative form. In negative we have to write not after the helping verb. What is the helping verb? Had. So he had not gone to school. Okay. Now interrogative form. We have to interchange the first two words. Had. Then he. So had he gone to school. Okay. So the affirmative form is he had gone to school. Negative is he had not gone to school. And interrogative is had he gone to school. So had not. The short form of had not is hadn't. So you can write hadn't. He hadn't gone to school. Now let's move to future perfect tense. The affirmative form of future perfect tense will be he will have gone to school. Okay. In negative form, we have to write we have to write not after will. Okay. He will not have gone to school. He will not have gone to school. So this is the negative form. Now in the interrogative form, we have to write we have to interchange the first two words so will he have gone to school okay will he have gone to school so affirmative sentences he will have gone to school the negative is he will not have gone to school and interrogative is will he have gone to school so this was future perfect tense with this we have completed perfect tense and the last one is perfect continuous. And so first is present perfect continuous. So the affirmative sentence is he has been going to school. He has been going to school. I have been going to school. You have been going to school. Okay. So in the negative form, what do we have to do? We have to write not after has. Okay. He has not been going to school. So, he has not been going to school. This is a negative form. I have not been going to school. So, as I said, we can write has has not as hasn't or have not as haven't so he hasn't been going to school i haven't been going to school you can write it like that too now interrogative form in interrogative form again we have to interchange the first two words so has then he has he been going to school okay has he been going to school have i been going to school have you been going to school? So this is present perfect continuous tense. So now past perfect continuous tense. Affirmative form will be he had been going to school. Okay. The negative form will be we have to write not after had. So he had not been going to school. He had not been going to school. Now the interrogative form is we have to interchange the first two words. So first we have to write had, then he. Had he been going to school? Okay. Had he been going to school? Affirmative form is he had been going to school. Negative is he had not been going to school. And interrogative is have he been going to school? So we have completed past perfect continuous. Now the last one is left, future perfect continuous. 
the affirmative sentence of future perfect continuous will be he will have been going to school okay now negative in negative we have to write not after will so he will not have been going to school okay he will not have been going to school now interrogative we have to interchange the first two words will he have been going to school okay so affirmative is he will have been going to school negative is he will not have been going to school and interrogative is will he have been going to school so these are the 12 tenses and the affirmative negative and interrogative form of all these 12 tenses so with this we have completed today's video i hope you like this video and if you have any suggestions then please don't forget to write it in the comment box below do like this video and share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button thank you